believe it or not a lot of people ask me this and I noticed on Google this is searched a lot uh, and the question is are there cars in Guernsey and um, I suppose it's quite a sensible question because uh, bearing in mind a lot of people have never heard of Guernsey then when they maybe do a bit of research on it they realize that it's so small can you even fit cars on Guernsey and I do understand that so um, in this video I'm going to show you not only we have cars but we got a lot of them and there's going to be huge traffic going down or coming up the row haze so I'm going to take you down there this time of day I'm hoping to show you the amount of traffic that backs up so um, we have got cars um, and they're probably slightly smaller as in people tend to buy slightly smaller size cars in Guernsey I would say um, in the UK where I've been quite a lot I generally see bigger cars like estates and there's bigger ones in Guernsey you come back and all of a sudden I realize people buy smaller cars which makes absolute sense because the island's only small the roads are small so it doesn't really make any sense to have a really really big car we do have vans in Guernsey obviously workmen have vans you'll see a lot of Ford Transits and Ford Nissans drive uh, not Ford Nissans just Nissans driving around sorry and obviously we've got big lorries and stuff like that but um, on the whole gen I'll say generally a bit smaller and for the size of the island Guernsey have one of the most densely populated places in the world for cars for the size of the island so you can imagine um, we have a lot it's not all horrific traffic jams every day and they're certainly not as big as what you'd have in cities and places like that however um, some people do get shocked especially people visiting Guernsey or come to live in Guernsey from other places because they tend to think oh Guernsey's small imagine everyone's on bicycles and you know there's a few cars around they have a shock that there is actually quite a big jam up sometimes and very very densely populated with cars for the size of the island so I'm gonna head up through the roundabout turn left which takes us up towards the road called the Rohays and as I mentioned earlier that time of day or this time of day there's probably gonna be some traffic and I just wanna show you and give you an idea of what I'm talking about there is um, people in Guernsey cycling is quite a big sport so people do cycle there is people cycling to work in the mornings you see them uh, the e-cycles are getting more popular in Guernsey where they're electrically assisted I think I haven't got one myself but I think people are using them and I think people are conscious of you know using bikes instead of cars where possible however a lot of people do still use cars I use a car for my job because I've got to get around and it's not practical for me to cycle everywhere but um, if you live quite close to your work I suppose and you don't need a vehicle for anything I, I personally would just have a bike so some people can some people can um, little um, mo scooters as well little motorbike scooters they're quite popular see people whipping in and out the traffic in those as well and uh, people do walk you see people in the mornings walking to work so people do try however as I mentioned earlier there is a lot a lot of cars on the road especially if there's diversions so I know it's something that uh, I think the states of Guernsey are trying to encourage people to use other forms of transport which people do and the bus service as well can be used if it suits you it's not very expensive to use the bus service but yeah so you've got options And by the way, I do videos all about Guernsey. I live here, and this channel is dedicated to island life. So if you want to see more stuff about Guernsey and you're interested in what it's like to live on a small little island, I do drive-alongs and walk-alongs, uh, showing you place of interest and just telling you what it's like to live here. So if you do want to see more, you can subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you do like this video, 
you can let me know simply by clicking the thumbs up button. So we are in St. Peterport, which is the capital of Guernsey. Uh, I live on the west coast, which is quite a bit different to this, not quite as busy. Actually, I recently did a video and I did a little walk around where I live, showing what, it's, what the area is like. That was just for the channel members. Uh, so if you're, if you're not a channel member, you wouldn't have seen that. But um, I show a bit more extra stuff, a bit more extra footage. If you are interested in supporting my channel and becoming a channel member, I'll leave the link in the description and you can have a look around. It just shows extra footage, some different stuff that I wouldn't normally put on the channel. So uh, that's there if you fancy it. So we're heading up the Grange. So we have the Grange Lodge on the right, just going past it now. Let me know if you ever stayed there. And as usual, if you see anywhere that sparks off a story in your head, or maybe you visited Guernsey, or you used to live here, please let me know in the comments, I love reading them. Any comments good, anything about Guernsey, always good to read. If you're going to visit Guernsey and you're sort of watching this video because you want an idea of what it's like driving in Guernsey, well this is very typical, this is exactly what it's like. The maximum speed limit in Guernsey is 35 miles per hour and as same as any other places there's different limits. Some places are 25, some places are 20, some places below that and the main thing most people are a bit baffled by is the filtering turn systems so familiarize yourself with that as well and the other main thing is people say the roads are very very small compared to what they're used to driving in so that's the main things but a lot of people hire cars visitors hire cars in Guernsey just have to be careful of knocking off the wing mirrors which is quite a popular thing to do <laughs> in Guernsey as you uh, maybe judge the distance of your car wrong in a lane and all of a sudden your wing mirror is on the road. That happens a lot. There's there's very popular roads which tends to happen more than others. So that's something to look out for. So around here it's pretty much where I thought there'd be the build-up of traffic going down but also coming up. So this is a row haze. This will give you a little bit of idea of what it can be like. So I'm stocking it at the moment and I've got to get used to my new car because when I take it out of gear and put it in neutral the engine turns off which my van never did. And the minute you put your foot on the clutch, it restarts, which I think is quite popular for cars these days. So I'm just getting used to my engine stopping in traffic, 
which is obviously good for the environment. So yeah, getting used to that. Here we are. So you keep an eye out on the traffic uh, going down and coming up and let me know what you think. So this is a little bit of a busier place. Give me your thoughts on it, whether you were surprised at the traffic or you think it's completely normal for Guernsey. Love to hear your comments on this one. It's not looking too bad, but when we go down, I just want to look at the traffic coming up because that tends to build up a bit. We are off. Right, let's have a look at the traffic coming up towards us. Wow, there you go. What do you think of that lot? Pretty pretty decent build up of traffic. Uh, yeah, so there we go. We do have cars in Guernsey. <laughs> Remember, if you want to see more stuff, click the screen to watch another video. And you can also subscribe to the channel. Until the next time, take care. I'll see you again soon.